Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you are well. What is going on? I woke up this morning, no matter what I did, my curls were not trying to cooperate. So I figured today is the perfect day. I've been meaning to do a few Issa inspired hairstyles. At the time of filming this, there are two episodes left of the fifth and final season. How is she doing this to us? First of all, I feel like I could watch another five seasons of this show. Secondly, is it just me? Or is this season a little weak, especially compared to the four that came before? Like, one thing I love about shows like Insecure in Atlanta, it's not just comedy, it's not just hilarious, it's about the culture and it's for the culture. There have been so many great conversation points I've had with my close friends about things off of Insecure. So I'd love to hear from you who your favorite character is. Mine is a tie between Mira Issa and Kelly. Kelly brings the light and the laughter in every scene she's in. Remember when she was speaking in that accent? I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you like this? And also when Lawrence asked how Issa was, let me not put too many spoilers in this in case you guys haven't caught up, you need to. But when she said, what was it? Limitless, flourishing in abundance. I was like, yo, that's a quotable if there ever was one. Mira Issa because she's always doing the most. Always doing the most. Lawrence's ghost? Mmm. I don't know how I feel about this last episode, guys. I can't even lie. I really hope that the 9 and the 10 come to kill because that's it. After that, there's no more. I've also grown to love me some Molly. I actually had a best friend back in the day who was very similar to Molly. So I can see elements in her and have a level of sympathy because I know people do not rock with Molly, but I, I really do like her. I love me some Nathan. I don't think it's gonna work out, but I love me some Nathan. Bring Daniel back though. We need a petition to bring Daniel back by episode 10. I was Lauren's high for a while, but after you get condolences, let me not, let me just not. No, 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 we're not going down that road. Let's get into this video. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover instead of a talk through because honestly, one, there's always construction happening around here, so I don't wanna interrupting the video. Hashtag ratchet. Two, because a lot of Issa's notable hairstyles in this season and the wind downs where I'm pulling my, let's say, inspo from, her hair is pulled all the way back. And if you've noticed, I always have a fringe in the front because the five head comes on so strong. So talk about insecure. I'm insecure, okay? So we'll see how this works, but let's just have some fun with it. If you enjoy this video, let me know by tapping the like button, comment down below who your favorite character is. Also recommend a new show for me because after this, I'm gonna be going through withdrawal for real, for real. Let's do my favorite one first. I love this look because it's so chic, but so simple. You know me, I'm super lazy with hairstyles. I never admitted this to you guys before, but when I do vlogs, I brush my curls every day, which can be healthy for my hair. So I might incorporate this as part of one of my everyday looks because it keeps me from brushing my hair to keep it fresh every single day. It's definitely a good protective hairstyle that you could even wear as part of a festive fit. All you have to do is take a little bit, like a side swoop, put it to the side, and brush the rest of your hair into a low pony. As long as you have enough hair to put in one, this is a one and done with a little extra. But I'm telling you, it's the poof in the front for me. Here's my little cheat code. If you can't stretch your curls or you have hair that's on the shorter side, layer your ponies to make them look longer than what your hair actually is. This next look was from the dream scene last episode. Just braid the front two parts of your hair and then set it aside because you're gonna use it on the side. Two ways to do the same look. If you have thick hair, you're gonna wanna secure the top half, kind of like a half up, half down look before you do the second part of this look. If your hair is on the thinner side, then you can just skip this and secure the braids on either side. I used a whole lot of hairpins because my hair is more on the voluminous side. If you want to add some flair to this look, you can either fluff out your curls or stretch them. This is my least favorite hairstyle. It's just not for me. It looks so much better on Issa, but here goes. You're gonna do two braids in the front like the last hairstyle, but you're gonna leave them loose. You're just gonna brush up all your hair into a loose bun. I 
I love this ponytail because it gives you the illusion that your hair is longer than it is. You're gonna use the same trick that you did in the first hairstyle, layering your pony. This time you're gonna do at least three ponytails. You can do more depending on how much you want your hair to poof and how long you want it to look. This one is also giving glamour. So what you're gonna do is braid your hair from one side to the next. You can either plait it in a cornrow or you can just loosely braid it. I kind of started one way and then ended the other because I was lazy and my arms were getting tired. But you can do it either or. Once that's done, you're gonna set it aside or pin it to part of your hair while you brush back everything into a side pony. We can leave it like that, but that's not the look from the seam. So to take it to the next level, you're gonna twist two different sections of your hair and braid a third part. Put the two twists together and intertwine the braid. At least that's what I saw. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. I'm visually impaired, so I don't see much, but that's what I thought I saw. Here's another twist on a classic protective hairstyle. You're gonna braid two front framing sections. Once that's done, you're gonna slick back all your hair into a high pony that you'll make into a bun, wrapping those braids around the side. I noticed this season she did a lot of variations on this look, so I only picked this one to show you. Here's another bun. This one, I probably should've cornrowed my hair across, but I was like, no. So instead I just braided in the midpoint of the side of my head, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it over in a second, but first I have to secure all my hair into one. You're just gonna flip that one braid over to the other side and secure it in place. This next hairstyle, also from the dream scene, I don't really consider a hairstyle. This is how I do my hair to go to bed. Minus the brushing, because I literally just put my curls in one all the way in the front of my head. But this one, I had to refresh my curls a bit to get them to really pop. I mean, I don't know if I'd wear this outside my house since I wear it to bed every night, but if you like it, I love it. This one is a twist on the low bun, pun intended. You're gonna put your hair into one, and then you're gonna section your hair into three pieces. Two are equal and one's a little smaller. The smallest one you're gonna braid, the medium two sizes you're gonna twist. You're gonna twist them on each other, and with the remaining braid, you're gonna intertwine it. Hopefully that makes sense, and if not, you can see what I'm doing. Once you've twisted them all, you can secure it under the elastic. Pop in three hairpins to finish this look. Last and longest is the braid. I don't remember what episode this is from, but I was like, okay, I get a chance to pull up my braid again. You're gonna take your long hair, don't care, and secure it to your hair. I have a whole tutorial on how to do the long braid, but I guess this is a short version today. Keep going until you're Rapunzel with it. Now, if I were to do this look on my own, I would definitely put a little bang in the front because the fire hit's coming on a little strong. And that is the last look. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun doing it. I can't believe Insecure is almost done. Let me know what your favorite episode was so far and also what your favorite hairstyle from this video is. Until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.